Good morning, guys. Here we are, Science Bell Work, Week 16, Day 4. Continuing that theme for the week, why are the North and South Pole so cold? Today we get into the average temperature range at the North Pole compared to the South Pole and how those uh, average monthly temperatures you know, are similar and also the differences between the two locations. A couple of paragraphs to read through. Follow along as I read through the passage. Then we'll move on to respond to parts A and B. At the North Pole, average temperatures range from negative 18 degrees Celsius, which is 0 degrees Fahrenheit, in the summer to negative 37 degrees Celsius, or negative 34 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter. Temperatures at the South Pole are on average 17 degrees Celsius, or 30 degrees Fahrenheit colder. The coldest temperature ever recorded in the Arctic was negative 56 degrees Celsius, or negative 68 degrees Fahrenheit. While the coldest temperature in the Antarctic was negative 89 degrees Celsius, or negative 128 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is the South Pole so much colder than the North Pole? There are two reasons for this difference. One is that the North Pole is located in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. Regions near the ocean are warmer because the ocean absorbs heat. By comparison, the South Pole is on the continent of Antarctica, 800 miles from the nearest sea. The second reason is that areas of higher elevation have colder temperatures. While the North Pole is located at sea level, the South Pole sits at an elevation of nearly 10,000 feet. Okay, so part A wants us to use the chart to answer the questions. So it's average monthly temperatures at the South Pole. It's in Fahrenheit, average highs, average lows. Which three months of the year have the lowest average temperatures? So as we scan through the data chart, I see negative 63 negative 78, both May, June, July, negative 67, negative 81, negative 67, negative 80. Looks like July, August, and September. During which month does the highest average temperature occur? Highest average temperature. So as we scan through the data chart, data table, looks like it would be January, negative 13, negative 18, much lower than majority of these temperatures. Closest one would be December, but looks like January is the lowest. or excuse me, the highest temperature. B, some areas with year-round mild climates, such as California, have snow-top mountains. Explain how this is possible. Well, we know, obviously, mountains are at higher elevation. We see right here where areas of higher elevation have colder temperatures. There you go, guys. Science Bell Work, week 16, day 4. Hope you guys followed along, made corrections if you need to, and have a good day.